Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Anna Vanilla Arts. I am Anna Vanilla and on this channel I publish, upload all the things that I know, all the things that I studied over the years, all my experience, all my knowledge that I received these years uh, in my life and um, I would like to share with you some more patterns in knitting. Um, in this case is a headband, as you can see it's stretchy, could be worn even in the summer because it's kind of um, open work pattern but not too much. But it's very beautiful, as you can see it's stretchy, it's fantastic the uh, design the pattern itself is fantastic and the color the color i think looks great it's juicy red acrylic yarn um my needles are number five uh, i have 20 loops 20 stitches on my needles and let's begin um this project let's let me show you how i've made it so first loop we need as a front stitch to make sure we get a straight edge to make sure it does not unravel it does not curve it's just straight and nice the second one we also need with the front stitch then we need two pearl stitches and then we see two front stitches here and we take this right needle and through the middle of these two front stitches we grab the yarn from behind like so and then we need the first one that we um um that we uh, pull the yarn around and the second loop which is also a front stitch so the two front stitches we need together so from two we make two from two loops we make two loops so two pearl stitches and again we count one behind one Per, uh, one um, front stitch then we pick up the second from behind and knit it together so we get two and we make two so two front stitches we make another two front stitches but just in a different way so two pearl stitches so one grab from behind and then we need the first one and the second one and release and we get two front stitches two pearl stitches this pattern could be made even for beginners uh, beginners would easily be able to do this pattern i can guarantee you this is very simple so two pearl stitches stitches and two front stitches so the last one you also need with a front stitch to make sure you preserve the edge so it's a straight edge straight line here so now is a second row second row we need the first stitch with a front stitch like so then the second one again with a front stitch then we need again two front stitches then two pearl stitches two front stitches so what we see basically is what we need if you see a pearl stitch you need the pearl stitch if you see a front stitch you need the front stitch so two front stitches two pearl stitches two front stitches and two front stitches and 
this is all you need to know to be able to do this um, headband. I hope you like this pattern and um, I'll show you next how to put it together. Now I would like to show you how I close my loops. So what I do, I with the right needle, we pass through the inside of the two loops, two stitches, and we grab the yarn from behind and we created a new loop. This loop we put it back on um, the needle, second needle, the left needle, and then through these two loops we grab the yarn again. So um, we create another loop and this loop we put back on the second needle we grab the yarn through the two loops then we put it back on and then again through the loops we put back on and then we just close it like so make sure it's not too tight it's not too loose but normal to be just enough to be able to stitch the two pieces, two ends together. And as you can see, it develops into like a plot. You see, it's like plotting here. And we do it like this. Then when remains the last loop, we tighten it up with the needle. We pass through with the needle. So this is the last loop. Now what we need to do before we cut the yarn, we put the needles away, we measure three times the amount that we need to stitch to make sure we've got enough yarn for stitching. Now we cut it, we take this favorite, my favorite plastic needle and we pass through this last loop like so and then we tighten it up like this then we take the two pieces together and we begin to stitch it like so Make sure it continues the pattern from one side to the other. Make sure it continues like this. So. stitch from the front side to make sure the stitching is um, is good is pleasant is correct okay. 
This headband is nearly finished, as you can see, it's very stretchy, it's very beautiful. The pattern is stunning, it's easy to use, easy to make. And I would like to show you now how I had the last uh, yarn, last cord through the loops from the stitch from behind. We basically follow the loops like so. And we hide the yarn plus I am doing a knot to make sure after several washes and wear and tear actually doesn't move so it stays into place for good and you hide it like so so now we cut this yarn And now let's start talking about this finished headband. Hello everyone again. This is the finished piece. This is the pattern we knitted together. As you can see, it's very beautiful, it's very stretchy, it's soft. It's tactile this acrylic yarn is really something special uh, and the edging is straight because we used front stitches on the first loop and the last loop and this is the stitch at the back which I bonded together and this is the um, the bonding as you can see it's nice it continues the patterns like so so it gives a professional look it's stretchy it's beautiful by the way this pattern you can do anything you like with it you can do clothes with it you can do for children a lot of beautiful items beautiful accessories you can do headbands for children you can do whatever you like with this pattern it's just fantastic so simple yet so effective and any beginner would be able to do this pattern so why not give it a go and uh, let your creativity do the work now let's see how it looks on my mannequin Let's see how it works on my mannequin. This headband. As you can see, it looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. It covers the forehead. It covers the ears. It protects the ears from the cold, from the wind. This is stitch at the back. Nicely done. And this is the pattern. And as you can see, it's lovely. I think even the color gives a lot of beauty to this headband. And if you want to keep your hair into place, also a headband is a way to go. Is um, a headband holds hair into place. You can do a lot of. Um, hair juice on top and that's what's magical about it is that you can play around with hairstyles whilst using headbands so i think it's fantastic to have a headband as an accessory you can always carry with, carry with you in the bag 
in case you need it, in case the cold started, in case a cold wind blows and everything. Um, you just keep yourself protected and stylish at the same time. So thank you very much for watching and subscribing. Thank you for the likes and comments below. Thank you for doing this pattern yourself. These patterns are totally unique to my channel. You can't find anywhere else. So please enjoy and follow my videos. Keep watching and choose videos and do the patterns with me. Thank you very much. I'm Anna Vanilla. Bye.